Hey, what's up, coach? This is Coach Ben from buildmysportsbiz.com. And today's YouTube video, I'm going to go really deep into creating the ideal client for your business. Okay, so here's one exercise that I do. And you need a pen and a piece of paper for all of this to make sense. Okay, so I did this uh, a long time ago when I realized, you know what? Some of the clients who I'm working with are not the right fit. They're showing up late. They they can't afford my program. They pay late. They are not respecting my time. I ran through a lot of clients in the past who simply were not the right fit. And I don't look at that like it was their fault. I look at that like it was my fault. Because number one, I didn't set any expectations with, with parents up front. And this is the reality. I don't care how fun the kid is to train. If the parents are are hard to deal with, if they're not paying, you're not going to want to work with that kid anymore, right? And here's my number one qualification of any player that I train now and in the future. And I tell all of my consulting clients in my mastermind the same thing is when you work with a player or an athlete in your sport, you want them to be on the same page as you and the parents need to be on the same page as you too. It's a family dynamic. It's not just going to be, all right, this player is really good, so I'm going to train them. It doesn't work that way. You have to be on the same page with the parents and the player and they have to know what your expectations are before you ever let them into your program. And when I say let them, that means that there's an application process. That means that you're not going to train everybody, right? Right. And when you are strict like that, that attracts quality people in your program and it deflects and it weeds out everybody else who doesn't deserve to train with you. And I want you to start thinking that way. I want you to start thinking that way where you know not everyone gets to train with me. Like it's okay to be picky. And that's actually really good to be picky. I'm very picky with who I work with. Not only in my, my soccer training business, but in our consulting business now. Not everybody who applies to work with me is going to get in. And that's just because I only want to work with the ideal clients. And this is what I want to help you figure out right now, right? Here's five things that are going to help you understand who these ideal clients are. Number one is how long do you want your clients to stay committed to your program? And you need to write that down. So write that down on your piece of paper. This is a piece of mail right here. But I would write down how long I want people to be committed. And I want you to be realistic. Don't put 20 years because kids aren't going to be trained with you when they're adults, right? But you need to have a realistic expectation of how long you want the clients that you're trained to stay in your business, okay? So that's number one. Number two is what is the age group, what is the age range of the clients that are in that you want to train, right? The, the players or the athletes that you want to train, how old are they? Right, so now we have a, a good idea of the exact age of the players or the athletes that you want to train. Okay, so now we're going to go a step further than that. Are they going to be boys and girls, or are they going to just be boys or just be girls? Right, that right there is going to tell you who you're marketing to. Are you going to be marketing to everybody, or are you going to have a, only a program only for boys or only for girls? Several of the coaches that I work with now are only working with boys or only working with girls. I personally, in my soccer training business here, it's probably 95% girls that I work with. And in the summer, um, I attract at that point, there, there's more high school kids that want to train in our program. So there's more boys at that point that want to come into my private training program in the summer. But 80% of the year, it's typically, my marketing is, is focused on how can I get um, girls who are between, I would say like nine and 13 to join my program. That is our core, uh, program that we offer. And that is what I figured out on my end. Right. But your market's probably gonna be different, but you need to figure out who are the players that you like to train. Right. So that's really key. The next thing you need to understand, this is the fourth thing is how much is your program? All right. Is this going to be something that everybody can afford? Or is it something that is more expensive and it's, it's for parents who have more money, they have more disposable income, they can't actually afford it and they can afford it month after month, 
where it's not going to be an expense because if it's an expense, they're not going to stay in your program for a long period of time because they don't have the money to do that, right? So you need to be very smart and strategic with how you price your programs, right? And this is why you should always have multiple programs. You should have a very high level program that, yeah, it is for maybe five kids every month, they can join that. And then you have uh, mid-level programs that are more affordable. You can get more players in that. Um, and then you can have a very affordable like monthly clinic or something like that, that anybody can do, right? And the last thing that you want to do is you want to create a player profile of all those four things I just talked about and you identify, okay, this is exactly who I want to train. This is how old they are. This is what school they go to. This is what league they're in right now. This is what part of town they're in. This is what uh, car their parents drive. This is their favorite restaurants to eat at. Like you want to have that so dialed in to the point where by the time you're done creating those first four steps, the fifth step, you're just wrapping everything up into one. And that is your ideal customer. And here's the, the thing. Like you've heard me talk about multiple times how most coaches and, and most of your competitors are not going to think that way. They're only thinking about how can I get more kids to train versus how can I get more quality leads, right? I would rather have 10 kids that I train that are committed to my program for a year than have 100 kids in my program every month that some of them might drop out, right? I don't want to run my business that way. And it's hard to do it that way. I've done it like that. I've tried it. It doesn't work, right? This is why you want to attract quality people into your program, but you don't know who those people are until you do this exercise. That's why I would do that exercise if I was you. I promise you that's going to save you so much time of, of headache and stress in the future if you're working with clients that you don't want to be with. And that's going to make you more money in the long term because now you're attracting the right people. They're going to pay you on time. They're going to be committed to your program, not only just for one month, but for years if you want them to be, right? So I hope you go through this exercise. I know it's going to help you. Like I do that every time I'm looking to start something new or start a new program. I figure out who is the perfect client that I can work with. And then from there, then I go introduce that program to those people, right? And that's how you simplify this whole business. And it does not matter what sport you're in, right? If you're starting a sports training business, you should just only work with kids that you like to be with, right? If you're training a bunch of kids who are not respecting you, they're late, they're not, the parents aren't paying. If, if you're running into those types of problems, you can quickly change that in two seconds if you start to attract the right people and you weed out everybody else. And that is what I do. And I'm telling you, I can wake up in the morning and I can go to bed at night knowing I'm not stressed out with who I'm working with because I can control who I work with or not, right? And you should have the same luxury to do that as well. This is your business and you got to treat it like one and if you keep it open to anybody, right, you're going, to, you're going to attract the wrong people, I promise you. And that is a huge problem. I see a lot of coaches who I help initially with their business, I see that problem happen over and over again. Parents aren't paying. Kids are late. Kids like don't show up at all. Like The coach is waiting at the field or at the, at the court for all day for people to show up. And that just comes down to um, the wrong marketing. And, and the wrong structure in place. So I would love to help you set that up with your business. It is um, something that takes a little bit of time. Those steps I just talked about are key, but I would love to help you out on a more advanced level than that, all right? And here's how we can do this. You hear me talk about at the end of every YouTube video how I would love to chat with you over the phone, and that's what I would love to do. If you are serious about starting your sports business or you wanna take your sports business to the next level, doesn't matter the sport, I would love to chat with you on the phone. And here's how it works. You simply just go to my website. It's buildmysportsbiz.com. You see that little bar here? That is my website. You click on that, okay? When you click on that, uh, sorry, when you go to that website, there's a big blue button at the top of the page. It says, call Coach Ben. You click on that button there. It's very simple. You go through an application form. You and me will get on the phone um, sometime within the next week. And we'll schedule a 15, minute, uh, 15 to 30 minute uh, phone call and I can see how I can help you out. And this way you, you can ask me any questions and I'm here to help out. So that's it guys, thanks again for watching. I really hope this video helps you change the way that you run your business in the future because if you don't do that, 
you're going to have the same problem that you're having now. And that's, you know, the reason why you're watching this video is because you want to fix that problem. So I'm here to help you out. And if you want one-on-one -on -one help, like I said, let's get on the phone sometime this week and we can talk on a deeper level. All right, that's it. I'll catch you later.